worst thing they could do, you know, motivate me and make me get in there, want to hurt his son. Talk to us about, um, about Garcia and his style. Garcia, I mean, I've seen him fight against Nate Campbell, who was old. I mean, he fought against uh, uh, Morales' his last fight, who was old. I mean, he had a close fight against Eric Morales, and the fight fought Eric Morales, and I offered the fight to him twice, not once. I mean, you know, we were locked him out, so, you know, he has a, he has a dangerous style, don't get me wrong, he's tough. But, like I say, he never faced anyone like me. So we're gonna cause him big problems. Um, you know, my last five opponents, I mean, he's not faced anyone like that. He's faced Nate Campbell, who's over the hill, Ken Del Paul, who's over the past team. I mean, also the, the, the guy who he just beat recently for the title, Eric Morales. I mean, these guys are all guys who I would not get. You get me? So he can say what he wants. I mean, if he wants, if he, if he wants to give me the large ones, we'll see on July 4. You know, I'm the, I'm the best guy he's facing. And he's facing. I'm the biggest payday he's making. So he better make the most of it. Give us your. Uh, Give us your take on uh, Mr. Garcia's uh, character. I don't like him. I mean, I don't know he's not. He's very disrespectful. Um, and it's a shame that he's not going to be taking the punches in the ring. His son's going to suffer for his actions. At the end of the day, it's going to be you and his son. Exactly. Not him. Exactly. You know, it's going to be me and his son. And it's a shame because he's putting pressure on his son. I, I believe in. I believe, you know, he, he's going to, I mean, he's motivated me and made me so angry that I want to go in the gym and train so hard for this fight and knock his son out because of his dad. You know, be professional in boxing is a professional sport. You've seen his son fight. Yeah. Is there anything that you've seen in him that you can take advantage of? I mean, his style, you know, his uh, slow feet, um, you know, the way, the way he, he, he puts his punches together, he's very open. I mean, he's very beatable, very, very beatable. He says, I don't have punch power, I don't I think he has it, but he has punch power, you know. I mean, we, we see what happens. Like I said, um, every fight, I'm a different fighter, I work on different things. And this fight, I'm going to be so you know, ready for this fight. I mean, including the last camp I had against Noel Peterson, I'm taking that in with me to this camp and to this fight. So I've got that extra training, I've got that extra strength work, I've got that extra sparring. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be more than, more than ready. You really wanted to fight Peterson. Yeah, we don't want to fight Peterson, just to put the record straight. And, you know, I believe it was the first time, but we didn't get it. But then when the drug thing came, I mean, it, it did upset me, you know, because I was so ready for the fight. But um, things happen for a reason. Maybe, you know, God wanted the truth out, and God got the truth out. Like, like, Peterson was a cheat. Um, well, it was a shame, you know, looks bad for boxing. And, you know, he was making his biggest payday of his whole career. And he's not going to make that no more because he, he, he took when you're uh, <clears throat> switching over fights, you obviously were deep in a camp already. Um, physically, do you have to take a little bit of a break, get a little bit of a rest, you don't yeah. go stale, and then uh, yeah, yeah. I took about, I took about three weeks off. Just chilled. Well, two weeks off doing nothing, yep. eating and doing what I want, doing it, my friends, and then <laughs> the third week I was starting my conditioning work and now I'm back in full full time training. So yeah, you do need that training. You know, you need to put your put your body to a little bit of rest because. We trained so hard for the pizza fight, and we were so, you know, I was so angry, and I just let my mind and get away from boxing for a little while until I go back in, until this fight got called, and then uh, back in training full time now. But yeah, yeah, you definitely need a break. How much is, you know, you're engaged now and you're going to be married? Congratulations, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, does that give you a stability that you can kind of forget about, like, or I don't have to worry about the girlfriend problem anymore? Yeah, or you know, boxing, partying boxing, and all boxing, that. Take, just yeah. focus. boxing takes me away from. All this, you know, uh, I'm sorry, my uh, boxing takes me away from all the, you know, the engagement, going out with friends. I mean, you know, you still remember your family and stuff, but it keeps me away from everything. And I'm so focused on boxing, you know, when, I, when I'm in the gym, when I'm training, when I'm about fight coming up, when I'm in training camp, all I see, all I do is sleep, eat boxing. Um, you know, that's how much it means to me, it's, it's my life. Um, but you know, it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a tough, it's a tough job, it's a tough life. So I have to kind of be so committed to it because things can go wrong. Amir, um, can you talk about what happened? You said when did your buyer handle what was that over? We just did a few things in camp. That I was happy about also him leaving the camp when I was, um, you know, in in the main part of my uh, training. So then, you know, I really needed somebody. Uh, yeah, and also went to Chavez, and he gets fired by Chavez. He didn't have to be there. I mean, Chavez was even in training. He didn't have a fight coming up or anything, so he just wanted to leave, and you know, it, it was wrong for him. Even though you know he says, "Man, he said he can leave." I still think you know, I'm number two fighter. He should have asked me. Um, I think 
also, it's just, you, you don't need a strength coach that also wants to be a celebrity. Yeah, that's 100%. I, mean, I, I need it. I, I, I like, I mean, like, with the Ruben Tabarro, is my new strength conditioner. He's so down to earth. This gentleman here. Yeah, he, he trains hard. He works with me hard. He also trains with me sometimes. So, you know, he's always in good shape. I mean, he, I'm a nutritionist also. He, he makes me eat good food and, you know, feel strong and everything. And, and on top of that, he doesn't want anything from it, you know. He doesn't want his name mentioned, he, wants, he stays in the background, and he, 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 he understands that boxing training is the number one. Boxing is what gets us there. Boxing training is what I need, and what comes first always with Alex, it was a little bit different. You, you kind know. of always wanted his role to expand, to become yeah. the cut man and all that stuff. Yeah, you have to remember, you know, Freddie goes to the boss, and Freddie, like whoever I bring in or whoever Freddie brings in, you have to understand that uh, Freddie is the boss and also work around what Freddie Watts says. Now with Ruben, he understands that. He's worked with other world champions like David Hay, put them in great shape. And now I can feel the difference myself, you know, being in great shape and being ready for this fight. I mean, this is the first fight we're working with him. It would have been the Pinkston fight, but this is the first fight we're working together. And it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to get in there because you will definitely see a different in your car. His strength, power, speed, and, and, and explosiveness. They will definitely be different in your car. And, you know, Every fighter has that little bit in him, and I think Ruben spot that. I mean, you know what I need to bring there, and he's brilliant at what he does. And I'm happy to be with a great team. Have you even said that you're going to do drug testing for all your fights in the future? Are you guys doing that for this? Yeah, yeah. I think we need to. You know, uh, we did the water last time. I think um, we're going to be doing the same for this fight. I believe it, it cleans up sport. I believe it, um, you know, all fighters should do it randomly, even outside of boxing. Out of competition. Yeah, outside, outside of competition because it's not fair when, when, a, when a fighter is on an aspect performance drug that's going to help his performance. It's not, especially in boxing because you go in there to beat somebody up and to punch somebody, so it just doesn't make it fair. So yeah, I, I believe that all my fights now, and I believe other fighters now should. Um, was there anything with Alex that you felt like he maybe brought a cloud of suspicion over you at all? Or did he, were you ever troubled by anything that he was giving you? Anything no, no, like never, never, okay. never. Like that. No. that was absolutely no, not nothing. Like that. Don't get me wrong, he's a, he's a great trainer. He, he knows what he's doing. And it? We had a great, oh, for great um, past and we worked on new things. But um, it was just time to move on. And I want to come to be happy, you know. I want a happy team. And I don't want no, you know, I want Freddie to always be the boss. Who's amicable? Hmm? Amicable split? I mean, it's a split that, you know, we both kind of, I mean, I went to sit there and talk to him, to be honest with you, but he was just um, so busy. I mean, he just didn't have time to speak so to me. Happened. The only time I heard something from him was on Twitter when he was cursing at people. That's one of the things. I think it's unprofessional because someone at his level needs to just respect a little bit. And that's all it is. I mean, I respect everyone and I, I, I just do the same back. He didn't get to a, a trash in the reason fast at all, but but he was kind of threatening with Manny and Top Rank to reveal their secrets. And I asked Manny this, you know, I just think I think it's better if that Ariza situation. With us, there was never secrets. I mean, I was just I never got involved in anything. Alex was just my conditioning and trainer. Let me ask and you. We never got too close to him or anything. Like that. Let me ask you. What do you question? know about your opponent? You know he's a champion. You know anything else about him, Danny Garcia? If that talks too much, I know that. <laughs> and he's gonna get knocked out from July 14th. You know, because you know, I'm already being in great. I'm already in great shape um, from the last fight. I got called off going into this fight now, and and he just talks too much. I mean, you know, I respect all my opponents and, and their family and their team. So with Garcia's team, I'm not for anyone. I mean, if I'm not for anyone, who, who has he fought that is credible? You know, he beat an old man who um, who was who was past his peak years and years ago for the BC title. Fine, he's got the BC title, but he's going to take taken off him in his, in his first defence. Um, my last five opponents would beat him and knock him out. You get me? And this guy, Garcia, is talking about big things, and he's the next best boxer in the whole world, next golden boy. But he has to beat the best out there, and he's taking he's taking the wrong step here by facing me. You know, he's barked up the wrong tree because this is going to be a tough, very tough, hard fight for him. And we just can't wait to go in there and put, just put a great fight on because, you know. Like I said, I've got, I've got the training from the last fight that got called off. I keep going into this fight. I'm already three quarters there. It's all about just, you know, sitting down with Freddie, watching tapes and videos and just um, being calm and collective, you know, staying cool and sticking to a game plan. Um, 
and I can't wait to get in the ring though, you know, I just want, I need to let that aggression all out, um, it's Paul Garcia's going to suffer. Are you pretty down as well? Do you want to fight Dick for next? Do you want Floyd? Or it's up to you. I'm going to hopefully think of moving up, you know, I'm not looking too far ahead. But there's a lot of fight, fight name, fighters out there, a lot of good names out there who I want to face. Um, you know, maybe they are on the list. But Floyd, there you got Victor, you've got, you've got a lot of good names there. So we just take this fight, hopefully not Garcia out, and then move on and move on to bigger and better things. You guys have similar fights in that you, you fought an aging Ber or an aged Ber Barrera, you fought an old Morales. He went the distance and kind of struggled at times. You took your guy out fast. Yeah. Um, I mean, and then you know, you we, fought the Judas, we fought Judas, we fought the likes of um, El Maidana, Maranaji. I mean, Maranaji is now world depth. champion. Your quality. He's, never, he's, not, he's not for the quality of Portis I fought. Right. He's plus his, I mean, I taste defeat. I know how it feels. And I never want to taste defeat before again. You know, so I'm going to be twice as stronger when I'm, I'm going to be twice as, you know, training, I'm going to train twice as harder. You know, and he, I mean, the fight against Morales, was a close fight here. And it, you know, it was a very close fight. But, you know, this is a, this is a good, it's a test for me. I mean, I'm, I never take any fight lightly. It's going to be a test, it's going to be a tough fight for me. I'm going to go in there, train like a challenger, and hopefully win the belt off him, beat him, and, and knock him out, and then be back on, be back as the best and move up to the next week, we hopefully. Are you absolutely done at 140? I think after this fight, yeah, I think so, yeah. I think uh, we will probably move up to 140. Yeah. How, how much knowledge do you have of boxing history? Well, there was a guy named uh, Hank Armstrong yeah. back in the day. When he fought, they didn't have strength and conditioning coaches. Yeah. They were just fighting. You think boxing should go back to that? Well, yeah, you know, what, with with me and Ruben, we still do a little bit of conditioning that's going to help us in the boxing. Boxing comes first for us. So all the strength conditioning we do is not is, is to do with boxing. That's going to make us punch harder, um, be more explosive. Um, so we're working around that stuff. You know, some conditioners work on stuff which has nothing to do with boxing, like weight training and, you know, getting big and muscular. I mean, I think that's bad for boxing. Ours is, well, the things that we do is totally different. It is just for boxing. And uh, Ruben gets me strong for my sparring sessions, for my fights, and for, for my training in boxing, really. Other than that, we don't do anything else. Amir, you sparred with Manny Pacquiao, and you were supposed to fight Brad. What do you think about their fight? Who wins in your opinion? In my opinion, Manny Pacquiao wins uh, by knockout. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky for the first couple of rounds, but I think when Manny starts catching you with some good clean shots, Manny will put the pressure on it and finish him off. Uh, Bradley, you know, I've been watching 24/7. He's been training hard. He looks in good shape, but I think he's just a different league. You know, Manny's in a different league. I mean, we offered the fight to him twice. He he turned in the fight, um, and that's why that's why you know I don't know where. And Garcia's father comes from when he says, "I'm not for anyone. I'm not for, I'm for everyone who they put in front of me. I've never, I've never turned down any opponent. You know, whoever they put in front of me, I've said yes, I'll fight." Um, Why do you think Bradley turned down the fight? I think you know he was looking at the bigger Sorry. name like the Mayweather or the Pacquiao fight because he knows if he had got beat off me, then that fight would never be there for me. Mm -hmm. um, so in a way, business-wise, he's made the he's made a good choice by going there and fighting the big names first, and then he gets beat by them, and then he can still fight someone like me or whoever. But um, you know, we'll see what happens. Like I said, um, we'll see. Uh, I wish him and Manny Pacquiao all the very best in, in the fight coming this Saturday. You guys are young. That fight could still happen. You're moving to welterweight. He's now welterweight. Yeah, yeah. It could be um, even bigger than it was going to be, don't you? That's right. Yeah, and um, you know, his style make fights, and I think his style will make oh, okay. an amazing fight for me. And he, he's a good fighter, so definitely he will. And experience wise, it'll be it'll be brilliant. You know, him to be in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. You used to do like the, the hyperhydration uh, to, to rehydrate for the fights. Yeah. And you guys haven't gone through a, a full camp yet. We don't have to. Are you gonna? You're not gonna. No. You're immediately like no. We, we, we don't do that. Right. We're not gonna do that hyperhydration. I think it makes you sluggish. And it's just. What can we okay, guys. What can we expect from you come fight? Huh? We expect when you come fight? I mean, I expect an explosive fight from I mean, I can't I'm gonna fight that. I'm gonna go in there and win. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be on the A game and I'm gonna be ready, more than ready in this fight and. He's only, his, his team is only motivating me to go in the gym and train harder and I'm going to go in there and knock Garcia out. Danny Garcia is going to get knocked out and he's going to have his first loss. Okay, tell me about the 